Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be showing you the best player vending cap deals and steals volume 25. See, this is a new series that I've been doing to showcase all of the wonderful shops and the deals that you can find right here in the wasteland. So what I do is I gather out all that information throughout the week and bring it to you all to make my shop one of the best in the wasteland. So yeah, some of these shops don't make the cut and some of these prices are kind of overpriced. But that's not what this is about. This is about the best deal. Now the first vendor camp that we're visiting this week is Antony's camp. Just do a little south of the top of the world. He have his camp built in the wall as you can see inside the crevices of these rocks and it is pretty freaking nice. So let's have a look at his camp and then we're going to check out what kind of deals he has. And yeah, this area right here, I would totally jam out if I had some other people here, but it's just me, so let's have a look. We have plenty of workbenches for our travels in the wasteland. Head outside, we have that lovely Deathclaw Etopa tree plant right there. We have plenty of different vending machines in the Blood Bath and Beyond shop. That's what I'm going to call it. Future Tech World Globe, I love spinning that to see all of the different nukes go off. Now that we are here, let's see what kind of deals Antony has for us. Now let's look at his legendaries. Awesome prices, exactly what I'm talking about. Three star legendaries with some pretty good perks, all priced accordingly. All under 1500 caps, you can't be mad at that, am I right? I <laughs> know I'm right about that. Now let's head on over to the different notes. And of course you want these to be around 25 and below when it comes to treasure mines, but that's okay, that's okay. Not bad prices so far. Let's check out the rest of the different vending machines. See what kind of deals Antony has for us. <laughs> Alright, once again we have two different legendaries, both priced accordingly. Not bad, not bad at all. I've seen them go for 10, 15, 20,000, so you know, good price. Now when it comes to the different items as far as the mods is concerned, 25 and below, but it can be charged a little bit more depending on what mod it is, like if it's Ultra Sight or if it's something rare, you know what I mean? So head on over to another Antony's vending machines and once again, the theme stays the same. Excellent prices, bear on for 500, that's a pretty freaking good price. Once again, all of the three star legendaries price well. So if you wanna price your legendaries, look at this guy. Excellent prices, if I need any of those and have the caps, I would definitely pick those up. And last but not least, under the notes, not bad, that Charlie's fee for $2,500, I was like, mm, yeah, I don't know about that. But that's okay, head on over to the last vending machine, and boom once again very nice prices on the legendaries so if you are ever in this guy's server and you see Antony head on over to his camp he has some excellent prices you never know what you're gonna find and by far this is one of the better camps that I've been to so thumbs up to you my dude thumbs up the blood bath in and beyond vending machine workshop was excellent next up we're going over to the god is alive camp now god is alive is just due west of Owatoga and over here if you're ever on this guy's server you're going to be greeted with a nice little form of an area we have a nice collectron station and we have some purified water which was conveniently a lot that would have been nice but we have some blackberries that we can harvest here as well so you know not bad not bad at all we have some potatoes plant nice little scarecrow and a little cooking machine outside so not bad not bad at all and the cat looks pretty freaking cool all right, so let's head inside and let's see what kind of deals that this guy had, as well as his camp. Whoa, head inside, nice, nice, very nice magazine rack right there. With plenty of magazines, nice workbenches, nice display cases as well. And we have the vending machines. We have a nice uh, vault boys right there. And that's pretty much it, not too much to this guy's camp. But, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and go over and show you everything. We have nice display cases once again with Nuka Cola, nice hot rod skin over there, nice clean fridge, and yeah, it's pretty much just a one story house and vending machines are inside, so let's have a look, see what kind of deal he has. Now for the first vending machine, and God is alive, have plenty and plenty of plants. Now the plants all can be priced 
differently. 25 and below is what I always say if you want to sell them like hotcakes. And he has them for 25 and below. He had one for 50, but that's fine. They can all be priced up and down depending on the rarity and the item. But hey, if you like I said, if you really want to sell these things, 25 and below and people will just buy the plans like me. If I don't have the plan, it's 25 caps and below. I'm gonna just buy it just because, you know what I mean? So let's head on over to the other vending machine. And over here we have some pretty nice prices. Regular prices on the regular items is always a good thing. You know, items that you can find in game, other people can find in game too. So make sure you price them accordingly. 25 and below. Bobbleheads, 100. That's pretty much standard. Anything below that is an excellent price. And as far as the mods are concerned, once again, 25 and below is excellent, but it can be priced a little bit higher depending on the items such as ultra sites and, you know, jetpacks and stuff like that. All right, last but not least, let's head on over to the last vending machine that he has. And once again, the prices are decent. I've seen a lot of these items go for a whole lot more. So not bad, not bad at all. And once again, for the notes, there's 25, and we have some price a little bit higher. The small price for 100, that's actually a really good price. Very, very hard to find in that item right there. So, uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another legendary camp. Give you a thumbs up. Not bad prices. I've seen a whole lot worse. I've seen a whole lot worse. So, last but not least, let's head on over to Atcher's 1984 camp. The Vendor Camp of the Wii. Now, Archer's Camp is beautiful, a beautiful farm. As you can see right here, we have a lovely mineral extractor that was actually open. Plenty of potato plants, corn, and moot fruit. Now, if you're ever wondering why I always pick these up, it's because not only can you make meals and drinks out of them, but you can actually sell them for a cap apiece. So each one that you pick up is actually like a cap. Go ahead and sell those, make some little extra caps. At least, that's what I do. Now, head on over here to the outhouse of this farm and it's locked pretty much nothing inside nothing too you know extravagant over there and the purified water he actually had two of them that was open and two that was closed so that was done on purpose and i appreciate you for giving me a little bit of purified water and over here let's get ourselves some whoa don't kick me now girl don't kick me <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and pick up these razzo greens and then we're gonna head inside and see the rest of this lovely camp and then we're gonna see what kind of deal he has nice guitar nice switch to get that radiation off of you head inside nice wooded floors plenty of work benches and very nice posters and a lovely view of that nuke that just went off on this server. It would have been awesome to see that right here. We have nice display cases over there with plenty of bobble heads in it and Sasquatch poster. Nice little bedroom area. We have a nice, nice, nice bear rug as well as the Easter egg. And once again, a lovely, lovely area overlooking the new that would have went you would have saw it just like that. So kudos to you. This is an excellent spot to see a nuke go off. So let's head back downstairs and let's see. Hey, in the greenhouse, there's a fuzzy ride. When it wrong, you gotta ride, Mr. Fuzzy. I love writing that Mr. Fuzzy right. It, it never gets old. So let's see what kind of deal uh, this guy have. Orchard 1984E, what do you have? Let's see what kind of deal you have. Head on over to the 8, Bird Bone Serums for $3.95. Not bad. 400 is the standard price for all of the different serums. Anything higher than that, it's a little bit of a ripoff. Anything below that is an absolute steal. So, for three ninety five, not bad, not bad at all. Go ahead and pick up some of these Nuka Colas and chairs because I want some of those in my display cases as well. So starting off, not bad, not bad at all. Pretty good prices. To the second vending machine, Archer nineteen eighty four. E, what do you have for us? We gonna head on over here, and once again, we have plenty of different items that you can find in game. If you can find these items in game, just take a little bit of time to farm it, and you can get it. So if you are selling these items, price from 25 and below, you're just basically saving people time. But the Retro Binding 10 foil cap, those items you can actually get from the Atomic Shop. So Retro Binding for 45, it's actually pretty good. 10 foil hat, I've seen that go as low as 10 caps, so 195. That's a lot overpriced, but then again, it's totally up to you if you really wanted it. You know, you can always win on. I've seen those go for very, very low prices on many different people vending machines. Head over to the junk, prices was excellent, 
excellent deal so far. And let's head over to the last, one of the last vending machines. Um, not bad. Not bad at all, Mr. Archer. You have pretty nice prices. I see that. You know exactly what the price these prices at. Once again, some of these a little bit overpriced as far as the regular items you can get in game. But other than that, yeah, some excellent deals. That gilded wall clock, I don't know about that one for three ninety five, but the ultra sight explosive vent for ninety five is actually an excellent deal. So not bad, not a not bad at all. Some prices a little high. Some prices are actually on point. Some prices you're actually going to get a good deal over here. So, once again, the last vending machine for 1984E Archers site we have, once again, lovely, lovely prices as far as the legendary is concerned. 2500 I'm not, I'm not mad at that, but you got to have a nice roll to meet Cleaver. We saw a couple videos back that going for a ridiculous price. So, for 10 caps, excellent price. Now we're going over here to the notes, not bad at all, and the uh, different mods, 25 and below, like I said, you can price them for a little bit higher, depending on what it is, and some of these are actually not too bad of a price, not bad, not bad at all. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, sorry I missed the last week, just been terribly busy with uploading videos, but I hope you truly enjoy another Legendary Vendors Weapon Guide. So yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome, don't forget to subscribe, and hey, if you really want to help out the channel in a video, you can do so by liking a video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.